Our uh, first item of entertainment tonight is a real, real, real special treat. You all know the delightful Mrs. Eugenia Wainwright Culbertson, who is one of the biggest contributors to our school and to the Ethel P. Merkel Foundation Fund. I think that we can safely say, if there's a problem or a disaster somewhere, Mrs. Wainwright Culbertson is probably involved in it somehow. By that, what I meant to say is that if there's a problem or a disaster somewhere, Mrs. Wainwright Culbertson is probably behind it. I mean the effort to fix it, whatever the problem might be. At any rate, our first item of entertainment tonight is a real special treat. Mrs. Wainwright Culbertson is quite an accomplished singer, as you may know, and she would like to come up here and sing a song very badly. <laughs> or rather, what I meant to say is that Mrs. Wainwright Culbertson would like to come up here and sing a song very badly to start out our show this evening. <laughs> so let's bring her on up here to sing the classic song, Deep Purple, as accompanied by our wonderful pianist, Mrs. Ivory Keys, and beautifully illustrated by our sixth grade art class girls. Maya, for that most flattering introduction. And good evening, fellow patrons of the Ethel P. Merkel Little Theater. It's such a delight to be here tonight to share in this wonderful new adventure of the launching of the Ethel P. Merkel Little Theater. Like you, I'm sure, I'm greatly anticipating the opening of the curtain on what will be the greatest performance since the time of Shakespeare. As Mrs. Stottlemyre so indubitably stated in her introduction, I am delighted to have been absolutely begged to participate in this small way in the success of tonight's performance. Singing has been a very important part of my life since a very early age and was strongly encouraged by my parents. My father, the late Judge Cuthbert Wainwright, used to say to me, Yuji, he always called me Yuji, he would say, Yuji, my dear, when you sing, you have the voice of a songbird. Well, to be completely frank, what he would actually say was, <clears throat> Yuji, my dear, when you sing, you sound like a dying crow. <laughs> Father always was known for being plain spoken, and I'm sure that was simply his... <clears throat> plain spoken and quite endearing way of telling me he appreciated and recognized my budding musical talent. <laughs> When 